Most people know that a polarizer is going to reduce reflections, but they don't know they can use a polarizer to increase the dynamic range of your composition. And here's how that works. So the dynamic range is basically the difference between the darkest of the shadows and the highest of the highlights. Now, obviously midday, this range is gonna be huge. Like our eyes can perceive that dynamic range of what people say up to 18 stops of light, where a camera is only gonna do anywhere between like 10 and 14 stops. So your eyes can handle that dynamic range and expose for shadows and highlights much better than your camera can. But what a polarizer can actually help do is increase the dynamic range of your camera. And here's how. Polarizer is gonna be able to reduce up to a stop and a half of light from the sky because a polarizer is reducing reflections and there's a lot of reflected light in the sky, which is why you can see as you rotate the polarizer, it can make the sky a deep blue, reducing all of that reflected light. You can see here in this scene, this is the middle of the day and this is the big the dynamic range is ever gonna be. You're gonna get the brightest highlights all the way down to the darkest shadows. Now, when I put the polarizer on, you can see I'm dropping about a stop and a half of exposure from the sky because there's a lot of reflected light up there and you can tell it's leaving behind that nice deep blue color. And what I'm able to do with that extra stop and a half is actually increase my exposure by a stop and a half which is gonna give me more detail in the shadows. And you can really see this obviously in the log that's in the foreground. There's really no more harsh shadows on it. But also if you look at that mountain range in the back, you can see a lot more detail inside of the even color detail as well as shadow detail compared to the no filter. And here's another quick comparison for you. You can see the sky is very, very bright. Um, you see the shadows in the mountain range here. And if I throw the polarizer on, I get an extra stop inside of that mountain range. And you can really see the difference in details in the shadows. You can see the trees a lot better, the rocks a lot better, as well as color, obviously, because the polarizer is reducing reflections. And you can obviously see Leo, my dog, swimming a little bit better with that polarizer on. So to tighten up the explanation of how a polarizer can help increase scene dynamic range. Now, in all of these examples here, you can see all of the brightest highlights are coming from the sky. So if I can reduce the amount of reflected light in the sky by a stop and a half, I'm able to shift that dynamic range because remember our brightest highlights are coming from the sky. If I darken it with the polarizer by a stop and a half, that's gonna allow my camera's dynamic range to shift down and get a stop and a half more in the shadows, which is perfect for shooting in the middle of the day when that scene dynamic range is gonna be way bigger than what your camera can handle. And then let's just look at one more example here, obviously super bright, middle of the day here. Um, you can see that with the filter, you got the sky, nice deep blue, you've got the clouds popping. And then compared to no filter, you can really start to see this is where the camera's dynamic range is struggling with the scene dynamic range, is the, the shadows inside of the hills. You can see there's a lot of shadows in that sagebrush, but then when I put the polarizer on, I can reduce that sky one and a half stops, and boom, I can see a ton more detail inside of that sagebrush, and then I can also see the clouds popping against the sky, which is also cool. So that's how you can use this polarizer to increase your scene dynamic range. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'm Jeff, see you on the next one.